Hi dears, welcome. Hope you all are doing well. Now you have been diagnosed with high blood pressure and your doctor has told you to relax. But instead of relaxing, you are panicking, you are stressing out and probably even developing a headache and it is increasing your blood pressure. Now is this all worth it? Do you think this is the right way to go about it? Definitely a very big no. because. With the right kind of guidance, you will be able to lead a very good, healthy and fruitful life. So dears, I am Dr. Neeta, an obstetrician and gynecologist and welcome to yet another episode of Dr. Neeta's Medical Clinic. So today I will be talking all about hypertension, the ways to diagnose hypertension, the types of hypertension, the complications, the treatment, what diet you need to have in hypertension and everything and all about hypertension. At the outset, I would like each one of you to please view the entire video, like it, comment on it, share it with friends and relatives and definitely subscribe to it. Now subscription is absolutely free folks and it would mean a lot to me. So without further ado, let's delve into the video. Now this video was going to be a long video. So I divided it into two parts and I am going to, this is hypertension part 1 and the part 2 I will be releasing in a couple of days. Now high blood pressure is also called hypertension and this hypertension is a silent killer. Now I have got a Hindi video on the same topic. So if you are comfortable in English, you can watch in English. If you are comfortable in Hindi, you can watch the Hindi video. Now what is this high blood pressure as I told you, it is called hypertension. And what is this hypertension? As per the latest guidelines, hypertension can be defined as a systolic blood pressure of 140 or more millimeter of mercury and or a diastolic blood pressure of 90 or more millimeter of mercury. So a BP of greater than or equal to 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury will constitute hypertension. Now let me bust a few myths here. Hypertension is again a very chronic disease and you can control it definitely but there is no cure to it so please do not fall prey to ads which claim to cure hypertension that is not going to happen but you can control it very nicely and in this video i am going to be telling you how to control it now another thing that i have observed is that a few patients they record their blood pressure at home and only if their blood pressure is high they will take the medicines or they will not take the medicines now this is a very wrong way to go about it Another thing which I have observed is that few patients after being diagnosed with blood pressure and given medicines, they take the medicines for a few days and then after that they will stop the medicine on their own without asking the doctor. Now this is very dangerous. So if your doctor has diagnosed you with blood pressure and has prescribed medicines for it, please take the medicine and dose as advised by the doctor. Do not start or stop any medications on your own. As I told you before, being diagnosed with high blood pressure or hypertension is not a cause to panic. Please relax. If you take your medicines regularly and follow the lifestyle modifications and also visit the doctor regularly whenever he calls you and for go for regular follow-ups, mostly for a lifetime, then you will definitely lead a life without any complications. What is blood pressure actually? Now blood pressure is the pressure exerted by the blood flowing through the blood vessels on the wall of the blood vessels. Now here is a small diagram to show you what is actually blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure is the pressure in your arteries when your heart is pumping actively and diastolic blood pressure is the blood pressure in your arteries when your heart is relaxing in between two beats. The blood pressure changes throughout the day with activities like respiration, emotion, tobacco, alcohol and pain and it also changes with age. Now apparatus to measure blood pressure. What do you measure blood pressure with? Blood pressure commonly is measured with three apparatus which I can show you in the diagram. Now the first one is a mercury sphygmomanometer and this is commonly used in hospitals and clinics to measure blood pressure and this measures blood pressure very accurately but the instrument is heavy and bulky. The second is an aneroid meter. Now this the position of the needle moves with changes in pressure but it has to be reset very often and third one is an electronic BP meter. Now it measures BP electronically and it is commonly used at home 
and this is the apparatus now if you buy this the people who have high blood pressure should buy this and keep it at home but first you take it to a local doctor and check it with the local doctor's bp measuring instrument to see whether it is recording bp accurately now in a short while i'll be showing you how to record bp with the help of this electronic bp monitor now to record bp at home you have to follow a few steps to get your bp as accurate as possible now the steps are 30 minutes before the test avoid alcohol smoking caffeine or any exertion sit quietly for 5 minutes with your feet on the floor and your back supported the room should be warm and quiet push your sleeves up but if your sleeves are tight then let the sleeves be as it is and then you have to wrap the bp apparatus around your arm either on your bare arm or on your sleeve down keep your arm straight and at heart level as much as possible but if you are in supine position that is if you are lying down then your hand is automatically at heart level i'll be showing you how to take a bp measurement with the help of this so you have to put this here wrap this around your arm tighten this attach it to this machine start the on button so this will just keep the cuff will keep on inflating and it will bring a pressure on your arm and then within a few minutes it will show your blood pressure so my blood pressure is 120 by 70 mm of mercury and my pulse is 85 beats per minute now as i took the blood pressure as i mentioned so you will keep the cuff on and you will take a total of 3 readings and then you will take an average of the 3 readings if the reading comes high then relax for 5 to 10 minutes and repeat the reading but after that also if the bp comes high or if the blood pressure was very high to begin with then you have to approach a doctor now the 7th joint national committee for hypertension formulated the following clauses for hypertension it will be shown in an image on the screen they said that a normal was systolic blood pressure of less than 120 mm mercury and a diastolic blood pressure of less than 70 mm mercury now there is something called pre hypertension that is a stage before hypertension where the person is at risk for hypertension and at pre hypertension stages the bp would be systolic 120 to 139 mm of mercury and diastolic 80 to 89 mm of mercury and then hypertension stage 1 systolic will be 140 to 159 mm mercury and diastolic will be 90 to 99 mm mercury stage 2 systolic is greater than equal to 160 mm of mercury and diastolic is greater than equal to 100 mm mercury hypertensive emergencies also called malignant hypertension now here the bp is more than 180 by 120 mm mercury and any organ damage is imminent that is any organ damage can occur and in such a case admission to the hospital urgently with bp reduction urgently is required there is something called labile hypertension where the patient's blood pressure is normal at a particular time and abnormal at another time now this particular situation has to be diagnosed by doctor then there is something called white coat hypertension where wherein when you go to the clinics or hospitals or in a very formal setting your blood pressure comes high now the white coat refers to the white apron which is worn by the doctors and so in a formal setting your blood pressure comes high but when you are at home casually relaxed then your blood pressure is normal again this has to be diagnosed by a doctor a word of caution here those who are relying on electronic blood pressure machines at home to record their blood pressure do visit the doctor once in a while to get your bp recorded by the doctor's machine and if you are a patient of high blood pressure or hypertension then do get it frequently checked by the doctor causes of high blood pressure 
First is primary or essential hypertension where the cause of blood pressure is not definitely understood but it is thought to be genetic that is it is passed on from generation to generation or due to lack of exercise, poor diet, obesity and this type of blood pressure is the most common. Second is due to kidney problem like nephritis which is inflammation of the kidneys. Third is a problem like thyrotoxicosis endocrine where there is a problem with the thyroid gland. Fourth is a brain problem like raised intracranial tension. Fifth is pregnancy induced hypertension wherein a pregnant lady due to changes in her body develops hypertension and this type of hypertension or high blood pressure usually comes back to normal after delivery. Cardiovascular problem like arteriosclerosis where there is narrowing of due to thickening of the blood walls. Due to drugs like cocaine or oral or contraceptive pills. Now what are the symptoms of high blood pressure? What will you feel if you have high blood pressure? Sometimes you may have no symptoms. If you have high blood, if your blood pressure is very high also you may have no symptoms and suddenly you may land up with a heart attack or paralysis. So it is very very important to measure your BP every once in a while and especially if you are a patient of high blood pressure to measure your BP more frequently. Then the symptoms which may be present are headache. Headache usually in the morning hours and this headache is usually frontal. Then you, have, you can have dizziness where you feel unsteady and you may lose balance. You may have epistaxis. Now what is epistaxis? Epistaxis is bleeding from the nose where due to increased pressure in the capillaries of the nose leads to breakage of those vessels and so there is bleeding from the nose. If the heart is affected, breathlessness on any physical activity, chest pain or palpitations may occur and what are palpitations? Palpitations are that you will usually feel, start feeling the heartbeats which a normal person would not feel. If kidneys are affected, then bleeding in urine, protein in urine, edema of the face or edema of the feet that is swelling of the face or feet could occur. If eyes are affected, sudden blindness or blurred vision may occur. Weight gain or weight loss may occur if any endocrine problem is causing the high blood pressure. Weakness and joint pains may also occur in some cases and sexual dysfunction if the blood pressure is high may occur. So this is it for today folks. I will be coming out with another video for the second part of hypertension in a couple of days because it would have been a very long video otherwise and reminding you once again to subscribe. Take care of yourself. Be healthy. Be safe. Goodbye dears.